Yes, hello to you all once again. Welcome back uh, to your number one and favourite classic dirt bike uh, TV, where of course uh, we continue to try and uh, rediscover more of those old school uh, motocross classics from back in the day. Now, uh, once again, thanks to all the brand new subscribers who have just recently signed up to CDB uh, TV because I think we've had uh, about 20 or 30 brand new subscribers in the last month alone. So uh, welcome aboard and I hope you continue to enjoy uh, looking at these old school uh, classic dirt bikes here on my channel. Now, in the past, we have covered uh, quite a few different versions of the JBR Honda four-stroke machines. And uh, in this next video, we're going to take a look at another version of one of these iconic uh, thumper uh, four-stroke machines. So let's jump straight into the video and take a look at John Porteous's 500 JBR Honda. So just before we actually uh, take a look at the bike, uh, the frame and uh, most of the rolling chassis parts on our featured machine uh, were all built by John Hand Racing in Hunts Hill in Sturminster here in the UK. So if you want a little more background on what the company actually does, then it's worthwhile checking out their Facebook page at JHR Racing. So anyhow, uh, our particular uh, JBR Honda here is the uh, latest purchase by Scottish rider John Porteous, whose uh, other race bikes, of course, we've shown uh, before here on Classic Dirt Bike TV. And John's uh, constantly changing and adding to his collection of old race bikes. So he's uh, a very good source, actually, of supply for my uh, channel content. Now, our featured uh, JBR is, of course, not one of the original uh, JBR Hondas that were built by Rod Spry uh, some years ago, who at that time, of course, was using chassis and other bike parts that were supplied by uh, Mark Janik, who, uh, as you know, designed and built the original uh, JBR frames for uh, Rod Spry to construct completed bikes. Now this featured uh, John Banks uh, racing Honda that we're looking at here is another interpretation of a JBR Honda and the bike's uh, chassis, swing arm, uh, footrests and all of the other frame parts were all designed and constructed by John Hand at uh, John Hand Racing. Now John told me that he's already built at least 20 of these JBR chassis for customers who are absolutely delighted with the workmanship and he also has another five currently sitting in his order book. So there certainly appears to be plenty interest in these new JBR frame kits. So if we just take a quick look at the engineering and workmanship on these JBR frames and it's uh, thanks to John Hand for supplying me these pictures in order that I could use them in this video. Now all of the chassis are all built using a T45 aircraft spec it's steel tubing and all of the tube bending, notching and silicone uh, bronze brazing is all done in-house by John himself and uh, just by looking at the quality of the welding here tells you that these chassis are the very best of uh, quality. Of course uh, these frames here have been chrome plated although I expect that you could uh, also get it painted in whichever colour that uh, takes your fancy. But of course, uh, John Hand Racing don't just build these JBR frames, they also do uh, all manner of steel and alloy fabrication work, but it's uh, certainly worth having a look at their uh, Facebook page if you want to know more about the, the quality chassis and all of the other services that JHR uh, provide. And uh, as I said, when you look at the quality of the finished chassis here and this uh, swing arm in particular, then you know that these are uh, top class uh, motorcycle uh, frames and uh, they're going to be very tough and strong and are perfectly suited for one of these twin shock four stroke uh, race bikes. And uh, also this alloy airbox here is another piece of fabrication 
by the talented skills of uh, John Hand Racing. So not only are they good at constructing steel parts, they also do these bespoke uh, alloy welding as well. And so as we uh, now move on to the bike's uh, power supply and, and in terms of a big thumping four-stroke motor for uh, twin shock racing, they don't come uh, much better than these big 500 XR Honda engines, which of course have a fantastic reputation for being tough and reliable. And uh, if you look after these engines correctly, then they're virtually uh, bomb-proof and they will very seldom uh, let you down. Now, at the time I took uh, these pictures, I didn't really get uh, any information of uh, what, or indeed if anything, had been done to this XR uh, Honda motor, because there are quite a few things that you can do to these engines to upgrade them to increase uh, their power and overall performance uh, on the track. But even in their stock original trim, these XR500 still have more than enough grunt to put a big smile uh, on your face. But of course, I'm sure you're already aware that uh, these XR500 engines is a single cylinder motor, but uh, it also has a twin port cylinder head with these twin exhaust header pipes that run down either side uh, of the bike, which in turn, of course, are then bolted onto these lovely alloy tailpipes at the rear, just underneath uh, the bike seat. Although, again, I've uh, no idea who actually made these exhaust pipes, but they, they certainly look like they're top quality and very well made and add uh, to the great look of this four-stroke uh, thumper. And if you are very uh, lucky enough to come up behind this bike at a race event, then there would be certainly no mistaking uh, what make of machine that you're following when you hear the bark from these twin exhaust pipes. Now, once again, a quite good quality Japanese Makuni carburetor is used to feed that thirsty Honda XR motor with its fuel and uh, the carb also uh, draws its air supply from this uh, very nicely uh, fabricated custom-made alloy airbox which uh, has a foam filter inside and uh, this alloy airbox here is, uh, as I said, another of the very nice products produced by John Hand Racing, which uh, just adds that little bit more quality to this uh, very special uh, JBR. Now, once more in the uh, clutch department of the motor, it's uh, quite common to upgrade the clutches on these XR engines if you're going to tune them for more uh, power. And usually that means adding uh, more clutch plates and using stronger springs as well. Although uh, I can't tell you if that's uh, actually been done here on our featured uh, motor. But other upgrades include uh, removing the balancer shaft on these big 500s, which of course makes the motor a bit more lively and it also helps to make the throttle response a little uh, quicker. But uh, when you get specialist XR Honda tuning companies like HPF Factory involved in the tuning process of these engines, then they can turn what is essentially a strong but pretty mundane power plant into a fiery uh, four-stroke uh, race winner. But as I said, for your average club rider, even these XRs in stock trim have more than enough grunt to satisfy even the fastest of four-stroke fanatics. And so as we move on to the JBR's front suspension system, which is actually using a pair of front forks that have been taken from a Suzuki, although from what particular model of Suzuki, I don't really know. But again, the front and rear brake hubs are also Suzuki items and uh, these hubs did have uh, magnesium back plates on them as well just to try and help to keep the overall weight of the bike down uh, to a decent uh, level. But again, and uh, as I said, uh, the rear hub is once more another 
Suzuki part, which uh, also has that weight saving uh, magnesium uh, back plate. But in terms of their uh, stopping power, both of the front and rear brakes on this bike were still good enough to either slow the bike down for a turn or bring it to a quick stop uh, whenever it was required. And uh, some of the chassis' other bolt-on parts, like these footrests and their uh, footrest hangers, uh, all come, of course, with the JBR frame kit when you order a chassis from uh, JHR uh, Racing. And this uh, rear brake pedal and torque rod uh, for that uh, back brake are also included in the kit. So uh, when you order your frame, you have a, a very good starting point from which to build your very own uh, race machine. Now, of course, uh, naturally you can uh, fit whichever make or model of rear suspension onto your uh, JBR. And in our case here, it looks like John's opted for a pair of Fox air shocks on the back of his uh, JBR. And again, these old school suspension systems, as you know, were originally invented by Bob Fox back in 1974. And at further time, these, uh, of course, were the latest technological advance in dirt bike suspensions in the 1970s. And even derivatives of these Fox air shocks are now still being used today. Of course, they may lack the sophistication and maybe adjustment parameters of our modern day suspension systems but nonetheless if you can get these uh, units all set up and uh, dialed into the rider's personal weight and riding style then these air shocks can still do a very good job of keeping the rear of the bike uh, in check. Now normally the fuel tanks that are used to build these JBR Hondas is uh, normally a copy of the old tank design that was used by CCM in the 1970s. And this alloy fuel tank here can either be painted in whichever colour you like, or in our case here, uh, polished alloy, which I always uh, think uh, looks much better on an older classic dirt bike. But uh, this tank here uh, usually would hold uh, more than enough gas to keep that big XR500 fed with its fuel. Although you still have to admit that uh, that tank shape and the polished alloy uh, surely complement uh, that chrome plated uh, John Hand uh, frame. Now personally I've never really had a go on one of these JBR Hondas before so I'm not exactly sure what they're like uh, to ride but uh, looking at this deep plush race seat it certainly looks like that would be uh, quite a nice place to rest your backside on uh, from time to time between uh, the bumps and these uh, seat covers again are another part that you can have custom designed so uh, once more it's another feature that can help uh, towards you personalizing your very own uh, JBR race bike. Now, as you've no doubt guessed, uh, both the front and the rear wheels are brand new uh, gold anodized alloy rims with uh, a new uh, set of spokes. And that rear sprocket there is a 54 tooth uh, talon uh, part. But again, it's uh, quite nice to see an older uh, twin shocker with a proper set of wheels in this nice uh, gold uh, color rather than uh, those hideous uh, black rims that seem to be the craze on classic bikes uh, nowadays. And so as we move on to the bike's controls department, we have uh, what appears to be a pair of uh, rental handlebars with all of their associated controls uh, attached to them. Now with regards these uh, triple clamps or fork yokes, now I'm not exactly sure who manufactured uh, these parts, although because the bike's front forks are from a Suzuki, then they could uh, quite easily be uh, Suzuki uh, parts also. 
but uh, a good quality uh, clutch lever from uh, Magura and of course it's associated rubber lever covers just to try and help uh, keep that dust and dirt uh, from entering the workings uh, of the lever and cable. But again, we have a Swedish uh, Gunnar Gasser uh, throttle here just to try and tame uh, the many horses that are waiting uh, to be let loose from that big 500XR engine. And uh, as you'd expect from one of these big four-stroke thumper motors, we have a decompressor lever here just to try and help lower uh, the compression in that XR engine cylinder uh, to make it a little bit easier to kick over and uh, get it uh, fired into life. But uh, as I said earlier, we have covered quite a few of these JBR Hondas here on my channel in the past and uh, most of them, it has to be said, were all uh, built by uh, Rod Spry and the frames made by Mark Janik, but uh, it's very good to see another interpretation of a John Banks uh, Honda and uh, this chassis, swing arm and all of the other frame bolt-ons on this bike, as I said, were manufactured by John Hand at his premises in Hunts Hill at Sturminster here in the UK. But uh, John's Facebook page is certainly worth a visit and you can message him with uh, any questions that you have about these JBR frames or indeed any other uh, motorcycle uh, fabrication work that you need done. Although I have to say there's definitely something about these JBR Hondas with that uh, superb uh, chassis and the virtually unbreakable XR Honda engine and if the stock uh, 500 motor doesn't have enough grunt to satisfy your racing needs then uh, as I said these engines are very highly tunable if you want uh, more power uh, on tap but uh, there are quite a few of the Rod Spry built at JBR still being raced at twin shock or four stroke race events in and around uh, the UK at this time but it's uh, as I said nice to see another interpretation of one of these iconic uh, race bikes and uh, although John Hand uh, only really supplied the bike's chassis, swing arm and other frame components, uh, this particular uh, JBR has still been very tastefully finished in this white and chrome livery. So there you have it and uh, if you're into your four-stroke thumpers and these JBR Hondas in particular, then I'm pretty sure you'll agree that uh, this is another cracking looking twin shock race bike. Well, there you have it. I do hope you enjoyed that walk around uh, John Porches's latest acquisition. That's John's uh, JBR uh, four-stroke uh, Honda and uh, another version, of course, of one of these iconic uh, twin shock uh, thumpers. OK, coming up next on CDB uh, TV, we're going to take a look at another iconic race bike from the Honda manufacturer and uh, this time round we'll be checking out this lovely uh, CR480 Honda that belongs to Irishman Eric uh, Bracewell. Now as you know these 480 Hondas were certainly up there with some of the best bikes that Honda ever made and we'll be taking a look at this lovely 480 Honda when we return here to Classic Dirt Bike uh, TV. So until the next time, everybody stay safe and well when you're out there racing these old vintage dirt bikes. And I hope to see you back here again very soon so we can talk about more of these kind of vintage racers right here on your number one and favourite classic dirt bike TV channel. Mm -hmm.